That's the hardest one to tune. So that's the short one. This is called the drone, right? After school, there's a probably 20, maybe 25 different clubs that kids can join after school, and they usually meet once a week. We're making instruments, particularly guitars and ukuleles. And this one came from an idea when I saw someone on the internet playing an instrument with made out of a cigar box. So um, I thought it was pretty interesting. I didn't know if it would sound good or not. And then I heard it and it sounded fantastic. We started by picking out um, a cigar box for our base. Then we took a piece of wood and we sanded it and then we added it. That way it was like the neck of the board and then we made just made a fretboard and now we're just putting everything together. And some of these instruments can be, if you notice there's a little electronic pickup, so you can actually plug it in and they actually sound better um, when they're amplified. So there's a little piezo pickup in there and um, it sounds pretty good. It's kind of cool how you get to make your own guitar and then you can play it instead of buying one. We don't do that much learning how to play the instrument because that's kind of a whole another issue. We do make them, most of the kids usually know how to play another instrument, so that's why they're attracted to it. I was thinking, yeah, I could make a stringed instrument like a guitar and here in an instrument making club and I could, I, I guess I could apply my knowledge I, got, I learned from music. Kids love to do things, so they don't have a lot of opportunities, sometimes, especially with the computer. It's mostly what they're building is either online or a social network of some sort. So to actually physically build things is a great joy, and they get, they're get very involved when they do that. Um, sometimes you can come in, particularly if we're doing a carving, and you can hear a pin drop. And that's very unusual because they get to run, they, get, they don't run around anything, but they get to move around in this classroom. So when we see them um, absolutely quiet, um, and when they're fully engaged, that's, you know, it's like you come in, it's just like, ah. Oh. It's just kind of fun because it's a combination of the IT that I like and also music. This is considered project-based learning. It's great because you don't actually have to test the kids. So you don't need to use that kind of extortive method in getting to do their work. They get so engaged in it, they're learning without knowing they're learning, and it's really how most of life works. We don't usually, when we graduate from school, test ourselves on, we actually get involved in a project, we enjoy it, we focus on it, and we self-teach ourselves with help from other people around us who've done it before. If you actually have hands-on doing something, it tends to be retained in your brain and the experience for, for almost for life.